Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I wanted to give you some nighttime cleaning motivation. We all have so many things we have to do at the end of the day, and I wanted to share with you what our nighttime looks like right now. There is a little bit of everything that has to do with taking care of our new home. So I hope you enjoy this, and let's get started. The first thing I will do every night is something that has to do with moving into this house. We have lived here about three weeks and we are still nowhere near moved in. There are tons and tons of boxes, there's furniture that has not been set up. So right now I'm going to start setting up our new bed. We're going from a queen to a king and from a mattress on the floor to a real bed. So last night was amazing sleeping in a real bed. Since it has been a few weeks since we've done that, we didn't want to set up our queen bed in here because it wouldn't be here for very long so we just kind of sucked it up for a little bit and had a mattress on the floor for about two weeks two and a half weeks and I cannot wait to show you this bed and tell you like the story behind it and all of that but first I need to get this mattress out of the way and then I'm going to start bringing in the other pieces one by one All right, so our new bed is white, upholstered, and tufted. Our last bed was gray, and this one has a footboard on it. We did not have a footboard on the last time. I really like how those look, and I also thought it would help to keep the blankets on because the blankets would fall off all the time on our other bed. And there is a fashion blogger I follow who has a similar bed. Her headboard is a lot taller. I really wanted like a very tall headboard, but for the price, I just was not about to do it. I was always looking for her bed and trying to figure out what kind of bed it was through her like to know it and her blog and whatever else she was posting. And it took me a while, like six weeks, and she finally reposted her bed. So I was so excited I went to it and it was almost $5,000. So we all know that was not about to happen. And it took me a while, about three weeks to find this bed, but it is a fraction of the price. You guys know I am like such, I always search out the deals and sales and I watch for sales and all of that. So I found an amazing deal on this bed. And at first I thought they sent me the wrong one because I saw the nude color, but that was just an interior piece that's not being seen. That's where the box spring is. And then the back has that color too. So I freaked out for a second thinking, oh no, I have to send this back, but it was the right bed. I just had it upside down. And now Chad is helping me. I told him I would do as much of it as I could on my own so he could hang out with the baby. And then I needed his help for putting it together and all of the heavy pieces. I have a few things to ask your opinion on as always I love asking you what you think so we either are going to paint our room white or light blue and I'm going to do that framing on the walls where you do like thin framing and then a bunch of rectangles across the room I really like that and if we paint it white I'm looking for some nightstands in a light blue color that are fairly tall and substantial like pretty big that have a drawer and also an open shelf I've been looking for a few weeks haven't seen anything if you see something let me know and the footboard is so satisfying I love walking in and seeing this so I hope you guys like it as much as I do The rest of the bed setup was finished by Chad while I was taking care of the baby and then I helped him put the box spring in and the mattress and we ordered a box spring and a mattress that came in boxes so they weren't like flat. It is so much easier to get those up your stairs, into your house, into the room, even if you don't have stairs. I always thought that was a shipping thing. It was a lot easier to ship. It is also a million times easier to get into your house. So I highly recommend that. Our box spring is an Amazon Basics box spring. It came in a small box and we put it together random thing but if you ever need a box spring they are very cheap and easy to put together through amazon basics before i'm too invested i should probably ask you 
And all we have to do now is put on our sheets and bedding. Sleeping in this was so weird. I felt like I was in my own bed. That's how big it is. It's going to take some getting used to. I always said I would never get a king, but our bedroom is pretty big, so it really, really needed it to fill up some space. On the other side, we're going to do a sitting area. I do want to change out the carpet in here for sure. I don't know when I will do that, sooner than later. And I have no idea what I want to do for this sitting area. So if you see anything you think I would like, again, let me know. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions, get to know you better we're almost done setting up our bed and our bedding. The blanket at the very end is actually a duvet cover. I just don't have anything to put inside of it quite yet. And after this, I am switching out the sheets on the baby bed and then we're moving on to laundry. I don't have a pile of laundry. I have a few mountains of laundry. That's how much there is to do. Here is just a glimpse of the current laundry situation I am dealing with. Right now I am sorting everything into piles, so the whites, the lights, the darks, and then I'm going to throw in a load, and I have even more I need to fold. I do get through all of it, I put it in super speed to not keep you here too long. It's so satisfying watching it go from a huge pile to all taken care of. And a lot of laundry after it's washed and folded or hung up actually stays in here right now because whenever I have a chance to put it away, the baby's sleeping and it's not worth the risk of waking him up to put things away. So I need to find a way to be better about that part of it. It seems like the only time I have to fold laundry lately is late at night and it's actually pretty relaxing. I will turn on a TV show or a YouTube video on my phone, listen to that until it's all done. Sometimes I'll even have like a candy or chocolate, something sweet to keep me motivated. If you have a little one, if you are a mom, let me know when you fold laundry. I think about it all day, but this is the only time I can actually make it happen. You stole my heart at first. Soon in a video, I will be setting up this room. I have a lot of plans for it that I've talked about a few times, but I have yet to line any of the drawers, so they're all still empty. That's why the laundry detergent is out. Everything is out. So I'm telling you in this video so that I feel like I have to do it very soon. I will line these drawers and set up this room with you and show you everything that I keep in here.
to the kitchen, dining room, and living room. I used to do all of this stuff first thing in the morning, so I would take care of everything from the day before in the morning, if that makes sense, instead of doing it at night before I went to bed. And a lot of you told me I should be doing this at night because it's so nice to wake up to a clean home. As always, all of you are right. I really like doing this at night. It's kind of like a stress reliever and winding down, knowing everything from the day is taken care of. So when I wake up in the morning and I make my coffee, I'm not walking through a disaster or a mess. Everything is put away and looks really good. So I'm going to open some mail and put that where it needs to go, take care of some jackets, everything on the counters, wipe them down, and then go from there. I believe this is the first time you've seen our dining table in a video. I feel like it looks even smaller from this angle since there's so much space on only one side. I do think it might be just a tiny bit too small. I'm going to have it like sit there for a while longer to really decide. We are going to get some new dining chairs too. So those were some of the old ones from the other house. I don't think they quite fit here, but for now they work. It's better than nothing. Now I'm in the living room and I'm taking care of the baby toys, water bottles hangers, everything and anything that has accumulated from throughout the day. And before I go to bed, I will also make sure I have enough baby items set out for Baby Forest. So a few toys that he will use first thing in the morning. I like to make sure those are set up before I go to bed because it's so much easier when you do those things ahead of time. I'll make sure there's enough diapers down here, wipes, everything like that. And then the very last thing I will do is take care of the dishes and load the dishwasher. I seem to almost always find an extra coffee cup or a water glass. So I will do this last to make sure I don't have to do it twice. And that is just about everything I do as my nighttime cleaning routine right now. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I feel like it is a little bit different because we are moving still. We're still moving in. I know it has been taking forever, but that is life. So it is a little bit of unpacking and moving stuff and a lot of the everyday things. Let me know what your nighttime routine looks like for taking care of your home. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. I would so appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Write a comment down below. And I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.